Hi guys. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Making It with the Matthews. If you're right. new here, make sure you subscribe because this is going to be some amazing content today. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment to let us know why you're here. So you saw the title of this video, and we want to save somebody else. Mr. Travis here um, didn't have his passport. It was expired. And so we knew that we were going on a trip and um, we delayed in getting that passport submitted, the application submitted. And so it caused us so much unnecessary stress and drama. And so we're here to kind of tell you guys that story about how we almost didn't go on our vacation. Um, but since we're on our vacation right now, we want to share the story with you. So. so, anything you want to talk about first? Even though this is a hack on how to get your passport early, just go ahead and do it on time. Yeah. The stress of having to worry about it, doing all of this, it worked for us, but it's like, it's not a guarantee. We're just giving you guys some tips on how to go about it if you happen to be in this situation. I'm not saying you should wait till last minute to be in this situation, all right? That's the tip. All right, let's start at the top. Back in March, we booked our vacation to go to our niece's wedding in Antigua. And our um, passport expired in March. Yes, his passport expired in March. And so we knew that we needed to get the passport done. I actually was walking around the passport in my work bag for months. We realized it was expired in April when he was going on his trip to St. Thomas. And by the way, guys, this is a, a segue. You can actually travel on an expired passport for up to six months from the expiration date if you're traveling within the US. So that's domestic, or in his case, he was traveling to the US Virgin Islands. And so he was still able to use the passport. Even though it expired. Yeah, they gave him no issues whatsoever. They didn't even whatsoever. mention that it being expired. <laughs> and so. he needed that because he had lost his wallet and didn't have the driver's license. So we had to kick in gear and found that you can actually travel So that's travel also another it. hack that we found out. So yes. we have a lot of passport <laughs> hacks for you guys. But don't put yourself in these situations. That's a key thing. Correct. Anyways, that Fast forward to July. End of July to be exact. I realized, oh my gosh, we have two weeks, because I thought it was two weeks, to rush the passport to get it back in time. So on July 28th, I got the passport application, everything together, go on the website and realize that it's like the processing time for rushing yes. is now seven to nine weeks. They say that the amount of applic applicants they have for passport has tripled and it's already always been backed up but now it's tripled so they're behind, behind, behind. I paid to rush the passport there that was thirty dollars mm -hmm. then I paid to rush the passport that was a hundred and sixty dollars paid for them to rush the passport back to me which was about nineteen ninety call it twenty dollars. Yep. So all of those fees I paid in advance. So here's a quick story. I get to the counter and this guy, his name was Josh. Maybe it wasn't Josh, I don't remember his name. <laughs> and he said to me, hey, do you know that the passport times are really running behind? Are you sure you want to mail this in because you're probably not gonna get it back? I said, I think I got it. I'm paying to rush it. I've done this before. You know, I think we're good. He asked me a second time. And I said, no. He then, before submitting it, said, hey, if you ship this passport, you lose the ability to walk into one of the processing center with your current passport and to get a new one. I was like, no. I'm gonna send it. I'm trusting God. I think that we're gonna be able to get it. Let's do it. On blind faith that look, it's gonna work. I usually rush it within two weeks. I get it back. So that's where we at. So the guy now is telling her, look, I do this and I don't think you should do it this way. But we still proceeded. Yeah, so I called Travis. This is now at one o'clock and I said, babe, I did the passport. I submitted it. Everything's rushed. I paid all the rush fees. Um, but the guy kept telling me that we shouldn't have submitted it. I should have held on to the passport and just drive or fly to one of the passport centers to get it same day. 
And Travis then said, Because I got this story, you always tell tell about it on everybody I can, about the preacher who was on his roof after a flood and boat kick, jet ski came by. Yo, you need some help? Nah, don't worry, God gonna save me. Guy came by on a boat. Yo, you need some help? Don't worry, God's gonna save me. Finally, a helicopter come by. Yo, you need some help? Don't worry, God gonna save me. Preacher died, goes to heaven, and say, God, where were you? He said, I sent a jet ski, I sent a <laughs> boat, I sent a helicopter. So, to me, this was this guy trying to tell her, look, I do this. I know you're trying to get your passport rushed, but I don't think you should do it. Three times he tried to tell her. But Three we still times. Proceeded. So now she called me. I'm like, yo, you should have listened to the guy. Yeah, and when he said that and put it into perspective, I was like, oh my gosh. Like three times I told him no. Mm -hmm. Three times I told him. Yep. So then from that point on, I started fretting, guys. And from August 1st all the way to August 8th or 9th, there was nothing going on with the application. This is when we realized now that we've been online and we realized that there yes. was a backed up with passports. Because this was us still thinking, this guy don't know what he's talking about. We yes. made an old passport, <laughs> got it back within two weeks before because we paid all the rush stuff. This is when we went into the system to realize that it is a backup. They're pushing it back seven weeks now because of all the applicants they got coming in. So now we know, it oh, it's not going to come. The rush yeah. is not two weeks anymore. So now we're panicking. We're panicking because we have three weeks to our trip and the website says seven to nine weeks and so many people are sharing all of these different stories of people missing weddings people missing or losing their money on their vacation this is the first vacation ever that we have um travel insurance tra for situations <laughs> like this Right. So we weren't too worried because we had travel insurance. Anyways, I started panicking. I'm losing sleep, doing all of this stuff. And then I came across some information online talking about how the congresswoman or congressman can help you, but also that you should still reach out to the U.S. Department of State yep. to talk to them. So this is where we're going to go into what we did to get his passport in 14 days Exactly. Okay, so starting with the timeline, July 28th, we mailed in the, the uh, application express. I called the congresswoman, our local congresswoman, and I said, hey, we need some help because we have this wedding, our passport's stuck in the process, and we're not getting it. She, a case manager, reached out to Travis, and then they forwarded you a document. What was that again? Was that the privacy uh, document? Yes, because they need to be able to pretty much speak on behalf of you. Two things you wanted to know is uh, what was the event. So events of like funerals and weddings, things that you cannot redo, those tend to look a lot better when you try to use this process, right? Because it's not like, oh, you could just wait till you get your passport to do it. Stuff that cannot be redone, weddings, funerals, jobs, stuff that you go only be that day for they tend to probably be more fit into the category. So those are the questions they were asking. We have to fill out all that stuff, give the reason why we're traveling, mm -hmm. give all that information, name, and allow them now to go and speak on our behalf. And then on exactly 14 days before the trip, we reached back out to the U.S. Department of State. And so they did two things. The Congresswoman reached out to them with an urgent request. And then when we called on day 14, and this is why I say this process is actually better if you had submitted your passport because the office itself sent a ping to the processing center and said hey this person has a urgent travel yep. regardless of the reason it is we need you to get their passport out to them so that way you don't have to get to day five yes. so this process saved us booking a plane ticket to Going either to Philadelphia, a Airbnb stay, or car rental, or even spending four hours driving to Atlanta. Chances are you don't live in close proximity to one of the processing centers, and there are only three on the East Coast. It's Philadelphia, it's DC, and it's Atlanta. We're four hours from Atlanta driving, four and a half hours, and we're two hours from Philadelphia by plane. If we were to get an in-person appointment, 
we would have had to spend a lot of money just before this mm -hmm. trip. So yes, I mailed the passport in and I didn't listen, but I think it actually worked out and so this, much yes, better. Because we were, I was already in the system, so I already yes. had a case file number and all that stuff. So it wasn't like they had to do all that process again. They literally just told them, go into the files, look for this number, pull it out the batch and get it to them. For the rush, so now they don't got to pay for the rush to mail it back. All mm -hmm. that stuff was done. Instead of going through the list of stuff that was already prearranged, they just went in, plucked us out, and then just did everything that would have been done within that seven weeks, within seven days, pretty much. If I had yeah. to reiterate and do this all over again, um, I would suggest if you are on a short crunch or pressed for time in any way, go ahead and pay for all of the rush fees and send your passport in so the processing can already start, right? Once the processing starts on the 14th day, you go ahead and you call them, you tell them that you have urgent travel. They don't even need to see proof of your urgent travel. Not one of them asked for our itinerary. That is true. They did not ask for our itinerary at all. They just wanted to get the application in and out. And so that's how we end up getting our passport, which is here. Yes. We have the passport. It literally, you guys. like, it came, like, from the day I spoke to the processing center at the agency, it came like two days later, right? Uh, well, it only, it really came next day. So we yes. spoke to them Friday at like five o'clock. Mm -hmm. We spoke to them Friday at 5 p.m. The passport was in hand Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. It was shipped. <laughs> we have the passport. They send your old one back and the new one. So, all right, so we legit and we about the jets that amps all over this new one. All right, guys? But I don't want to end this video without giving thanks to the Most High. Yes, because like he did, he sent the jet ski, he sent the boat, and he sent the helicopter. We were just wise enough to jump in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> the second time around, we did the congresswoman, Congress call it process on the office of ourselves. But guys, like I'm telling you, there's a means to a way. When you want to get something done, never give up. Try, pray, and the inspiration will come, the knowledge will come, and there's a way to do it. God will move mountains for you. Yes, he will. He honestly will move mountains because I remember asking Travis a few times, do you think we're going to be able to make this trip? And he said, well, I don't have any other choice but to believe. Yeah. You know, I don't have any other choice but to believe. And the very next day, that was the Monday, the very next, the Sunday, the very next day, we see everything switch from processing to approved, shipped, with a tracking number, was delivered mm -hmm. in less than 24 hours. So, Congresswoman, U.S. Department of State, they did what they needed to do, but the most high definitely yeah. carried us through this process and we have to give him the praise we have to thank him so i hope that you guys found some value in our story uh, we hope that it wasn't too all over the place and that you can take out some tips here and there but we will um, in the description box put all of the different resources that you can use such as the phone number the website that you can use to get your application and all of the different fees that we paid in order to get everything expedited back to us. So now that we are about three days out from our vacation, we could safely say that we are stress-free. Yep. And you? if it do come, we just deal with it. Yes. Right? Like we yes. deal with this. Yes. Right? Because I truthfully believe that we have to go through this experience so we can share the story with you. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to encounter this with all the traveling people have been doing lately and all the backups they have with passport. Yeah. And trust me, a lot of people, like our travel agent told us how many people missed their trips, lost thousands and thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. not having passports and also not having travel insurance. Yes, yes. So these are some tips we're giving you guys. Get that travel insurance when you're traveling and get your passport on time. But if you don't, for whatever reason, sometimes an emergency comes up. It could be a funeral, right? And you just didn't have the time to get your passport. Yeah. These are some tips to take to get it. Because as you can see, I got my passport. <laughs> you did, you did. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, for sticking around. We're asking that you give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up actually helps our video get pushed by the YouTube algorithm. And so if you love us and you're a true supporter, we would really ask that you do that for us. It really helps the video. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. We'll see you in...
and Siga. Siga. Bye, guys. Bye.